Hey what's good everyone, it's Inu here and welcome back. Today I have a really special video that I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to see. Alright, today I'm gonna be showing you guys the most important tips for you that you need to learn to become a better editor just using your Android device, just like your uncle Sinu. <laughs> Alright, so before we start this video, I just want to say that the following tips that you are about to hear are my own personal tips. So, those are the tips that made me the editor that I am today. So, when I'm saying the tips, I do expect you to use the same apps and methods that I use, for example, KineMaster and Photoshop. But if you are using another apps, for example, PowerDirector or Pixel Art, it's okay, you can still learn something from this video. So, with all being said, let's get started with the tips. Alright, so eliminating unnecessary parts from the video that you are editing is a really important thing that you really, really should actually do. Okay, so when you add a raw footage to your video editor, of course that raw footage is gonna have so many unnecessary parts on the video. Whether it is a tutorial video or a funny video, of course you will have that part where you're gonna say just uh or anything, so you gotta go ahead and just analyze the video and just cut every single unnecessary part. One of the most things that you really should actually remove is the part that when you start the camera or when you start your video editor or literally anything that adds up time to your video without uh, having like a necessary part of the video or anything that doesn't deserve to be on the video. And if you have something really important that need to stay on the video but it's just so long, just speed up that clip and make the clip a lot shorter. So the whole concept of what I'm saying is just leave the only necessary parts and clips of the video so when the people are watching they will not get bored at all. Keeping your viewers till the end of the video is a really important thing and by eliminating the unnecessary parts of the video is going to keep the viewer watching till the end of the video. If the video have a lot of unnecessary parts, the people will get bored and exit out of the video. So just remove the unnecessary parts of the video and just like this you will have more watch times on your video which is going to lead you to the success. Okay, video editing is something that I found so fun to do. I just love editing my videos but because sometimes it takes me a long time to edit the videos it just became boring for me so what I like to do is to make it easy on me and make the video editing process faster and easier which makes me love to edit more videos how you might ask it's actually really easy the first thing that I do to make video editing easy for me is to group stuff. What I mean by grouping stuff is basically, for example, if you are using a bunch of sound effects on your video, all that you have to do is to collect every single sound effect that you have, put it in a folder, and when you are about to add some sort of sound effect on your video, all you have to do is to go ahead to that folder and just drag it into the video. If you have some sort of images that you always use on your YouTube videos, all you gotta do is you're gonna go ahead and just put them or group them to one folder so the next time when you are about to search about something that you always use on your videos, it's just going to make it a lot easier. Stuff like this will make editing so fun and fast and just like this, it's going to be so much easier for you to edit and you're gonna be a better editor. In KineMaster, there's this feature which allow you to put anything to favorite. So basically, long press any clip or image that you always use and basically press on this star button and just like this, you have added it to your favorite folder. In my favorite folder, I always keep the things that I always use, for example, arrows, intros or outros. Stuff like this is always gonna make you a better editor by, ma by making it easier for you. Detailing is a really important concept that you really should actually follow while editing your videos. By detailing, what I mean is just don't be lazy. If you mention anything, for example, if I mention Google Play Store, a Google Play Store logo will pop on the screen and also the name Google Play Store will pop below the logo so the people will know what I'm exactly talking about. 
if you are pointing at a small thing on the screen be sure to go ahead and zoom in into that thing and also point at that thing with the draw tool if you don't like talking to your videos please don't go to the notes app and the right in wherever you want that's that's just painful to watch all you gotta do is just throw the footage to your video editor and add text to the video while the video is going you see a little things like this going to make the people emerge with your ideas understand better and even want to see more of your ideas because they like what they see so why being lazy just basically put in more effort and time to your videos by adding those small details to the video so like this the people will like what they will see okay the sound is also a really important concept on your videos if a YouTube video was a human, the audio would be the legs. When you take care of the audio, it's like walking. If you have a crappy audio, you will basically fall. So talking on your videos is absolutely important. People hate to see videos without a sound. Why do you even think that people like hearing broadcasts? Even though broadcasts have no photos or videos, but the people still like sitting on their cars and just keep listening to broadcast on the radio. The same thing goes for YouTube videos. If you have a good sound on your videos, a good audio, people will understand you better, which basically means people will keep watching the videos and they will enjoy them with pleasure and there's many many ways that you can use to improve your audio one of them is buying a microphone believe me i'm using right now a five dollar microphone that i recently got i will leave a link down in the description below for my microphone that i'm using right now it's absolutely amazing so cheap but it gives you this really crispy clear sound quality and there's many many apps out there that they claim that they can actually fix the audio quality of your audio but i personally use alexis audio editor i will leave a link down in the description below you can guys go ahead and and just try that out if you want me to do a tutorial about this i'll be happy to do it just go ahead and leave a like on this video and comments down in the description below if you guys would like me to do a tutorial on how can you fix the audio quality using lexus audio editor talking about the audio the sound effect is also something that i always use on my videos i can't edit a video without adding a sound effect and if you guys would like to see examples here it is if I want anything to pop in the screen, I always use a sound effect called the Facebook Pop Sound Effect. For all my translations, I always use a sound effect called Swipe Sound Effect. If anything is scaled down to the screen, I always use a sound effect called Kill the Bad Guys with a Gun Sound Effect. And I also use a lot of other sound effects on my videos, but the ones that I just mentioned are the ones that I always use on my videos. So if you guys would like to use the exact same sound effect that I use, link will be down in the description below of this video. You can download the sound effects and, and also use them on your own videos. And I think those are actually all the tips that I have for you guys today. So I hope that you guys learned something from this video. If you guys did actually learn anything from this video, be sure to go ahead and hit that like button. Let's go ahead and try to hit 500 likes do you guys see this just go ahead and just if you are new to my channel what are you waiting go ahead and subscribe there's a lot of videos like this thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later peace out